Okay, this is going to be uh, the final lesson in the conics unit. We are going to talk about sort of how to graph the conics, but mainly how to find the center of vertices and focus for our foci. Okay, now let's start with the center. Just like the circle, all right, the center is going to be opposite, okay, of x and opposite of y. Okay, so in this case, my center, okay, my center for this one would be 2, negative 4. Okay, now, some people, you're going to need the graph in order to find the vertices and focus. Other people are going to understand this uh, sort of geometrically, okay, or I'm sorry, algebraically. So I'm going to sort of show both, okay, so uh, 2, negative 4. Okay, now, here's how we find the vertices, okay. We look at the numbers underneath the square roots, okay? And what we're gonna do with those numbers, and we're gonna attach this to x, I am going to take the square root of the number under x and the square root of the number under y, okay? So the square root, in this case, of 25 would be five, okay? Square root of nine would be three. This is the distance you move in the x direction. This is the distance you move in the y direction. So in essence, you're adding and subtracting five, or you're adding and subtracting three. Now, from that standpoint, okay, if you're able to understand adding 5 to x, so my vertices, okay, adding 5 to x would be 7, negative 4. Subtracting 5 from x would be negative 3, negative 4, okay? Now, I could plot that out, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, all right? And that's, if you look at that, that's 7 over negative 4 down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's, two, uh, that's uh, negative 3 over 4 down. So either way, you can figure that out. Great. Okay. So in the y direction, what I do is I keep the x the same. So that would be 2, uh, uh, negative 1, and 2, negative 7. Okay. How do I know that? Because I go, if I go uh, 1, 2, 3, that's 2 over negative 1 down. 1, 2, 3. That's 2 over. If I count that, that's negative 7. Okay. Here is what the graph would look like. Okay, now the foci, okay, um, uh, a little bit different, okay? So that's how you find the vertices there, okay? Now, here's what you have to understand about the foci, okay? All right, all right? It's always on for the ellipse. It's always on the longest axis, okay? So what you have to do is you got to look at which part is longer. Is it the x or is it the y? Well, you can clearly see that the number underneath x is bigger, so the foci would be on the x direction, okay? Now, here is the equation to help you figure out the foci, okay? It's going to be c squared equals a squared minus b squared, or c is the square root of a squared minus b squared. Okay? So what you really need is you need this. Okay? All right? What is this? What does the C tell you? The C tells you the plus and minus, all right, uh, from the center is the focus or foci. Okay? So what is this A squared and B squared? This is uh, the, uh, the A squared is always the biggest and the b squared is always the smallest okay so what does that mean for me okay all right what does that mean for me so what I want to do take the square root parentheses okay 25 minus 16 all right and that is going to be 3 so what I'm going to do in this case Okay, is I would move plus and minus 3 in the x direction. Now, 
If you ever get confused on which one is which, you'd get an error message, okay? What I mean is, if I go to take the square root, okay, of 16 minus 25, that's gonna be wrong, so you got them in the wrong order. I mean, that's pretty much as easy as that can be. So, once again, you could plot this out, one, two, three. There's the focus. One, two, three. There's the focus, okay? The other thing you can do, if you understand the algebra, is I'm just adding three to the x-axis in this case. So that's five, negative four, and I'm subtracting three, negative one, negative four, okay? So vertices, I know it's a little messy. Center, vertices, focus, okay? All right, you can either graph that out or understand what direction you're moving in, okay? So in this case, it's plus or minus three in the x direction. Why? Because the x is the biggest uh, axis, okay? All right, <clears throat> let's go. Now we're gonna, we're gonna practice some of these. Get my board, we'll want to top cooperate. Okay, great. So my center here, my center would be negative one, positive three. Opposite of x, okay, all right? Opposite of y, all right? So what I would do is take the square root of four, which would be two, this is going to be the plus and minus in the, this is going to be the plus and minus in the x direction. Square root of 36 is going to be the plus and minus, which is 6, plus and minus in the y direction. Okay? So from the people that understand algebra uh, and like the algebra stuff of it, the vertices, I'm going to add 2 to the x. So that would be 1, 3, and subtract 2, negative 3, 3. Okay? For the y's, all right, I'm just going to... Uh, add 6 to the y direction, so that'd be 9. Subtract 6, which would be negative 3. So those would be the vertices, okay? If you want to graph it out, you can. If I want to graph that out, I can. Negative 1 over, 1, 2, 3 up. All right, 1, 2, 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay? And then you can see, if, you know, if I plotted those out, those would be the vertices. 1 over, 1 over 3 up, negative 3 over 3 up. Negative 1 over 9 up, negative 1 over, negative 3 down. Okay, that's simple. Okay? Now, let's look at the focus, the foci. Okay? First of all, you need to figure out where the foci is. Well, clearly, I can see that the longer axis is the y. Okay? So I am going to add plus and minus to the y axis. Okay? So... How do I do that? I take C is going to be the square root, okay, of uh, A squared minus B squared. So that is going to be the square root of 36 minus 4. And I know that because it's pretty easy to figure out, you know, I, I can't have the other way around, okay? So square root of 32, okay? Let's figure out what the square root of 32 is going to be. So if I want to, I can just do 36 minus 4. That's not a problem. All right, it's the same thing as that. All right, so 5.65, okay? Or 5.6, okay? So what am I going to do? I'm going to add 5.6 in the y direction. So uh, 3 plus 5.6, 3 minus 5.6, okay? So I got that and that. All right, once again, if I needed to plot that out uh, from here, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and a bit, that's where my focus would be. All right, one, two, three, four, five, and a bit. That's where my focus would be. I'll be honest, I think it's easier to do the algebra than it is the graphing. I think the graphing helps you lay out which, which direction the, uh, the ellipse is in, okay? Let's do another one, okay? Let's do another one, okay? So what I got here is I got a center, all right? So if I don't have something in there, that's gonna be zero, and that's going to be negative two, okay? My vertices, okay? All right, what I'm going to do is I would take the square root of 81, that's gonna be the plus and minus nine in the x direction. I take the square root of 49, that's plus and minus seven in the y direction, okay? So, let's start with the x direction. If I add uh, zero, zero plus nine, zero minus nine. So I got nine, negative two, and negative nine, negative two, okay? Let's do the y direction now. 
Okay, so I would do uh, negative two plus seven, negative two minus seven. So I've got um, uh, zero five and zero negative nine. Okay, once again, if you want to graph that out, you can. All right, zero over two up. Okay, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now the longest part is going to be this axis. So the focus is here on the X. Okay, so my foci is on the X axis. Okay, so I'm gonna do plus and minus, all right? So I want to do square root, 81 minus 49, okay? All right, square root, 81 minus 49. Whoops, got to put parentheses around that. Okay, oh man, it's 5.65 again. Okay, so it's 5.6. Okay, all right, I got 5.6 there. So what am I going to do? I am going to take my, um, my x, all right, I'm gonna take that X and do plus or minus 5.6 to the X axis, okay? All right, so it's easy, zero plus 5.6, zero minus 5.6. Okay, so I got 5.6, negative two, negative 5.6, negative two. I think it's easier to do algebraically. Once again, if you wanna count it, you can. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, in between, one, two, three, four, five, six, in between. I think it's easier to do the algebra, okay? All right, let's do another one. All right, <clears throat> our center is negative five and positive three. Okay, my vertices, okay, let's figure those out. For the x, the plus and minus x direction, I would do square root of four, which would be two. For the plus and minus y direction, the square root of 49 would be 7, okay? So what I want to do is I want to um, do, uh, I can do the one with for the 3, and I'll do the one with negative 5. Okay, let's talk about that one. Okay, so I'm in the x direction, negative 5 plus 2, negative 5 minus 2. So I got negative 3 and negative 7. Okay, for the other one, I'm gonna do uh, three uh, plus and minus seven. Three plus seven, three minus seven. Got 10 and negative three. Okay, all right. Now, if you wanna graph that out, what's like said? That, that is fine. That sometimes might help you, it's up to you. Okay, uh, one, two. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can clearly see the biggest is going to be the y-axis. So from the foci standpoint, I'm plus and minus on the y. Okay? All right, how am I going to do that? I'm going to take the square root of 49 minus 4. That's the square root of 45. That's 6.7. Okay? So all I'm going to do, I'm going to keep the x the same, and I am going to do plus or minus 6.7 to the y. So 3 plus 6.7, 3 minus 6.7, 9.7, and negative 3.7. So once again, if you want to, you can, you can graph that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in between. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You can figure out what that is. Like I said, I think the algebra is the easiest deal. Okay, so what I'd like you to do, go ahead and pause your video and go ahead and work on these, uh, these uh, three, okay? Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and work on this one. My center here would be negative two, and that would be a zero for the y, all 
All right, for the plus and minus x direction, I take the square root of nine and I get three. For the plus and minus y direction, I take the square root of 49 and I get seven, okay? So my vertices, negative two, blank, negative two, blank, uh, zero, So let's talk about changing the x first, all right? So negative two plus three, negative two minus three. So I got one and negative six. One, zero, negative six, zero. No, that's not right. Negative two plus three. Okay, and then I would do um, zero plus seven, zero minus seven. So I got negative two, seven, negative two, negative seven. Okay, now you can figure out which one's bigger. It's going to be the y direction. If you need to see it, that's fine. All right, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So obviously it's in the y direction, so my foci will be plus and minus in the y direction, okay? All right, and what I'm going to do is the square root of 49 minus 9, which is the square root of 40, is 6.3, okay? So I'm going to add that to the y coordinate, okay? So 0 plus 6.3, 0 minus 6.3. Okay. I would not worry about graphing it. Okay. All right. My center here would be negative four, negative three. My vertices, let's figure out what those are. Plus or minus x direction, square root of nine would be three. Plus or minus in the y direction, square root of four would be two. Okay. All right. So I would do negative four plus three negative four minus three. So negative one and negative seven for the x coordinate. Okay, and then I'm gonna do uh, negative three plus two, negative three minus two. So I got uh, negative uh, one and negative five. And the negative four stays. Okay, once again, if you need to graph it to see which one is bigger, all right, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, all right, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay, um, one, two, one, two, okay. Clearly you can see the foci will be in the uh, plus and minus x direction. So what I'm gonna do is the square root of nine minus four, which is the square root of five, square root of five is 2.2. .2. So I'm going to change the x direction, so the y is going to stay the same. So I got negative 4 plus 2.2, negative 4 minus 2.2. So negative 1.8, negative 6.2. Okay. All right. Uh, for this one, okay, I am going to do uh, uh, my center will be Six, negative one, my vertices uh, in the plus or minus x direction, square root of 100 is 10, plus or minus y direction, square root of 16 is 4. Okay, so my vertices are going to be uh, 6 plus 10 would be 16, 6 minus 10 would be uh, negative 4. All right, now uh, for the y direction, I do. Uh, Adding four to that would be three. Subtracting four to that would be negative five. Okay, you would like to see that algebraically. The first one was uh, six plus 10, six minus 10, 16 and negative four. The second one was uh, negative one plus four, <clears throat> negative one minus four. 
okay? That's how you get those numbers, all right? My float guy, okay, I think you can pretty much see this is the biggest one, it's underneath x, so that's gonna be plus or minus the x direction, okay? So what I would do is the square root of 100 minus 16, which would be the square root of 84, the square root of 84 is 9.1, okay? So I'm gonna add that to the x, so the y will stay the same. <coughs> All right, six plus 9.1, six minus 9.1, 15.1, negative 3.1. Okay, all right, just wanna fly through this one algebraically real quick. Okay, my center will be negative one five. My vertices, the plus or minus x direction will be the square root of 25, will be five, plus or minus in the y direction will be square root of 64, which would be eight. Okay, so my vertices, Okay, uh, negative one plus five, negative one minus five. Okay, four and negative six. Okay, both the fives there. Okay, then what I wanna do is five plus eight, five minus eight. 13 and negative three. With both of those having a negative one. Okay, my foci, okay, I can see that basically this ties underneath y, so it's plus or minus in the y direction, okay? So I wanna do square root of 64 minus 25, which would be the square root of 39. The square root of 39 is 6.2, so I wanna keep the x the same, so I'm going to plus or minus 6.2 to the y, okay? So five, Plus 6.2, 5 minus 6.2, 11.2, and a negative 1.2. Okay? That is your ellipse practice. Okay? Now, the hyperbola. There are some similarities, there are some differences. Here's what you have to watch out for. In the center, watch your letters. Okay? Because remember, in hyperbola, the other ones are backwards. Okay? So I gotta be careful here of this, okay? So for my center, x and y, just make sure that's negative two, okay, that is positive three, okay? All right, <clears throat> same concept. Um, uh, now the vertices are slightly different. The vertices are only for um, the um, first, letter squared term, okay? So your vertices are only for those, okay? So in this case, okay, all right, I only have to worry about the x coordinate, okay? All right, so square root of 16 for x would be uh, plus or minus four. So all I gotta do is do the vertices for that, okay? All right, so um, I am going to, in this case, this is going to be affected by the x-coordinate, negative two plus four is two. All right, um, uh, negative four, uh, two minus four would be negative six. Two, negative two, three, and negative six, three. Okay. Want to check something real quick? Okay. And then for the folk guy. It's also for the first letter, okay? So, um, the, the, the formula though, for the foci is a little bit different, okay? All right, for the hyperbola, it will be the square root, okay, of a squared plus b squared. What's a squared? Whatever is first, 
V squared, whatever second. Okay? All right? Let us double check that for you. Yeah. Okay? So it's a little, very much like the Pythagorean theorem. Now, this is also, so what I would do, this would be plus and minus in the x direction. Okay, so I would do uh, 16 plus 25, which is 41. Square root of 41 is 6.4. Okay, so once again, all right, I would just add that. All right, I'm going to keep that 3 there, keep that 3 there. Okay, all right, so I got negative 2 plus 6.4, negative 2 minus 6.4. Okay, I got 4.4 and negative 8.4. Okay. In class, I'll show the graphs. This video is running a little bit long, so I just want to get to the algebra components of all of these. Okay. Now, got to be careful here. Center, X, Y. Make sure you're watching your letters. This is the Y. So four would go here. This is the X. Two would go there. Okay. Now, my vertices, in this case, are going to center around this letter. Okay, around the y, all right? So plus and minus y, square root of nine would be three, okay? So all I'm going to change is the y coordinate. The x coordinate is going to stay the same. So four plus three, which is seven, four minus three, which is one, so seven and one. My foci is also gonna be around the plus and minus y, okay? All right? So what I want to do is I want to do square root of 25 plus 9, okay, which is the square root of 34, okay, square root of 34 is 5.8, so I'm going to plus and minus 5.8 there, okay, so the 2 stays, 2 stays, 4 plus 5.8, 4 minus 5.8, 9.8, negative 1.8. Okay, got to watch the letter. The letter is the one that matters here. Okay, <clears throat> once again, this is my Y. Okay, all right, so my center, X and Y to remind myself, uh, that would be negative four, and that would be negative one. My vertices, because Y is first, are gonna center around plus and minus the Y coordinate. So I can keep that X coordinate the same, okay? Plus or minus the square root of, for y, square root of uh, 81 would be 9. Okay, so I'd be negative 4 plus 9, negative 4 minus 9. That's 5 and negative 13. Okay, my foci is also going to center around plus or minus the y. So I would do square root 81 plus 64. Okay, all right, square root of 81 plus 64. 81 plus 64 is 145. Square root of 145 is 12. Okay, so plus or minus 12 to that. Okay, so once again, my x coordinate is going to stay the same. Negative 4 plus 12 is about 8. Negative 4 minus 12, negative 16. Okay, center, focus. Okay. All right, let's go to this one, okay? Gonna be mindful of my center here, okay? X and Y, all right? Nothing for X, Y would be four, okay? My vertices are gonna focus on, since X is first, plus or minus the X coordinate. So plus or minus X, square root of 49 is going to be seven. Okay, so the Y coordinate is going to stay the same. All right, zero. Plus seven, zero, minus seven. Seven, negative seven. Foci is also going to be plus or minus the x direction. So I'm gonna do 49 plus the square root of 25, which is 74. Square root of 74 is 8.6. Okay, so uh, once again, that four is going to stay the same. I'm going to do zero plus 8.6, zero minus 8.6. Okay, so 8.6, negative 8.6, okay? All right, hyperbola is a little bit easier from the standpoint that it declares uh, which one that is, okay? So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to pause your video 
and go ahead and work on these. Okay, so got to be mindful of a lot of the letters here. So I got the center of X and Y. All right, this is the X, so that'd be negative eight. This is the Y, which would be three. So I'm gonna focus around this, okay? My vertices are gonna be plus or minus the X axis, okay? So plus or minus X will be square root of four, which will be two, okay? So negative eight plus two, negative eight minus two. So negative six, three, and negative 10, three. My foci is also gonna be centered around plus or minus the x-axis, okay? So I got the square root of 25 plus four is gonna be 29, all right? Square root of 29 is 5.4 about, so plus or minus 5.4 to the x. So keep the y, okay, negative eight plus 5.4, negative eight minus 5.4, negative 2.6, negative 13.4. Okay, all right, moving on to the next one. No, the video is long. Okay, I gotta be careful. My center is X and Y. Okay, now this is the Y, so that would be five. This is nothing, so that is X. So I'm, I'm, I'm here, so my vertices are focused around plus and minus the Y coordinate, so I can leave the X coordinate alone. I can go ahead and do that for the foci as well. Okay, so let's figure that out. So what I want to do plus or minus for the y, square root of 36 would be six. Okay, so five plus six, five minus six. 11, negative one. Okay, for the foci, I want to do square root 36 plus nine, which is the square root of 45. Square root of 45 is 6.7. So I want to add that to the y. So five plus 6.7, 5 minus 6.7, 11.7, negative 1.7, okay? Next one, okay? All right, got to be careful with my center again. I got X and Y. That Y would go there, it's negative 1. That X would go there, it would be positive 4. Since the Y is first, my vertices are going to focus around plus or minus the Y coordinate, and so will the foci, plus or minus the Y coordinate. So I can leave the X coordinate alone. Okay, all right. So uh, for that, the plus and minus Y, I'm gonna do square root of 16, which would be four. So I'm gonna do negative one plus four, negative one minus four, three and negative five. Okay, for the foci, I'm gonna do square root of 16 plus the square root of 49 which is the square root of 65. The square root of 65 is 8.1 about. Okay, so I wanna do plus or minus 8.1. So negative one plus 8.1, negative one minus 8.1. 7.1, -9.1. Okay, all right. And the last one, okay. I'm gonna watch my letters, my center is X is two, Y is negative three. All right, since the X is first, my vertices will focus around plus and minus in the X axis, and so will the foci, plus and minus in the X axis. So the Y of negative three can stay the same. Okay, all right. So uh, for the plus and minus X axis, I would do the square root of 64, which is just be eight, okay? So two plus eight, two minus eight. 10 and negative six. Okay, uh, for the foci, I wanna do square root of 64 plus four, square root of 68 is uh, 8.2. Okay, so I wanna do two plus 8.2, two minus 8.2. So 10.2, negative six. Okay, uh, like I said, we'll go over more drawing examples in class. I didn't want this video to go long because I had to show all the practice problems, but we'll go over more of the videos 
or sort of the drawing stuff in class. But uh, if, you, if you just stick to figuring out the, watching the letters, a lot of this stuff is fine.